Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I stay organized as an all honor student and a person who is also an ESB. I use this beautiful, beautiful app and website called Notion. I'm going to be giving you a tour of my entire dashboard. Okay, first we have passwords, but I'm not going to show you that because I don't, I don't want it, that stuff online. Then I have my time blocking uh, page. Okay, so basically uh, I input all my assignments right here and their names, uh, the class or club, uh, the date and the time. And these are all of my times. This one is special because this one's the time of my English conference. And you can notice that it's color coded and um, it's, it's designed that way to signify what time is the best to work at. So for example, all of these green blocks are healthy. Uh, the yellow ones are like, okay. And like the red ones are like, no, you should not be up at that time. I mean, I, I still do. I, I'm still like up at 4 AM, but like still. You might also notice that some hours in my time blocking section is not listed. That's because I don't want that to be a, an option. Like, I don't want to be up at, I don't know, 11 p.m. or midnight because that is not an option. I, I cannot have it, that, which is why it's not listed here. Another thing about my time blocking page is that it filters out all of the days that are not today or future events and all my previous events are right here but that's it for time blocking my next page is clubs and this page is basically where I organize all my club information uh, like the time blocking page this is where I mentioned the name club uh, date and instead of like the time blocking stuff I list the hours you might also notice that some events have like a check mark, a question mark, or a red no no icon next to it. And that basically signifies like if I'm going to the event. Uh, all these icons have a page listing all other information with it. The next page is my health journal and it's basically where I list all my uh, I don't know, emotions, um, if I had my period that day, maybe if I had an asthma attack, uh, I just list all of that in my health journal. For my extracurriculars, um, this, uh, I, I only have one, <laughs> I only have one uh, page in my extracurriculars. Uh, Look, this is my role. I'm Urza, the security guard, and I'm working with Kayton and Giselle. Next are all of my classes. Woohoo! Okay, time to get to the fun part. So let's break this down. So reminders, I am always checking on the reminders segment. Uh, this is where I list all my upcoming or my the homework that I currently need to do right now. My side tasks aren't as relevant as my reminders, um, but it, it's still important. So it's it's there. Upcoming dates. I have no upcoming dates for chemistry, but for ASB, I have. Oh my god. Wait, I, I don't. Am I supposed to show you this? I'll just blur it out. Okay. All my upcoming events are here. For my notes, I honestly. I don't really take that much notes. For general information, I just list the teacher's name, email, room number, and availability if I ever need help. Okay, our last section is the links. I have eCadence, which is the... Okay! I have eCadence, uh, our Google Drive curriculum letter, and calendars, but I haven't really updated this. It only has August and it's October currently. On mobile, it is super convenient when you don't want to search on Google or Google Chrome to have like the link just here and like you can toggle it and open it like right there. <laughs> I guess I will give it to you. Oh no, wait. Uh, give me a you want 
I'll show you how I use it on mobile, but uh, I scroll to the bottom, I click on the link um, for eCadence, and then boom! <laughs> I'm already in the class, woohoo! And that is it for my Notion page. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, you should like it. Um, if you enjoy more video, if you want to see more videos like this, um, you should subscribe. And yeah.